Maybe uh, one question, but which is a bit um, uh, not directly. You say there is a lot of, uh, we have a lot of data, a lot of availability of data, and uh, at least on the relations between uh, climate and health, so we have seen that it's not always that easy to have access to those data, or not necessarily have the right data, so not necessarily enough information but I don't know if you have some comments on uh, this issue of data availability. So on data uh, availability, yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you, about information, yes. Uh, increasing the, the sample side of the studies, we can improve the level of our estimates, but, but we, we must uh, have the idea that the part of the variability which can be explained is limited. Mm -hmm. And maybe at a several points it's not necessary to have very, very, very large studies when we think that the part of the variability which can be explained by the models or by uh, several compounds is limited. Yeah, I mean, um, you mentioned, maybe I didn't answer, but you mentioned that the number of variables, I mean, if it's very high, then the, the test would be less robust than if it's, uh, you know, we have a smaller number of variables. And if you compare transcriptomic to proteomic, transcriptomics, you have a you know, tw several thousand, tens of thousands of uh, uh, variables very, very easily. In proteomics, maybe 500, as you said. But in our, exp you know, and people working on that, I mean, I, I cannot say that proteomics is more robust than transcriptomics. It's mostly the opposite, uh, more, more often. And maybe it's the analytical procedure, maybe it's not this, but uh, can you, can you? Uh the question is, uh, with high throughput data, we started to work on the quality of measurement. That means that uh, uh, statistical models include biological variability and also technical variability. And this is the question for proteomic analysis. That means that we, we have to build new uh, study designs with, for example, replicates. Uh, and also, before starting a study, we must have enough information that uh, in comparison to the biological viability we will try to detect, our technical viability is small enough. But models included the two components of viability, uh, technical viability and also biological viability. Um, this is related to what you have just said on uh, technical variability. If we think about exposome research, we have the issue of exposure misclassification because obviously uh, the tools we are using are far from being perfectly accurate. So it adds up to the technical variability with probably correlation between the error structures for each of the component of the exposome. And um, the fact that the exposure covariates are also to some extent correlated. Uh, and I think that many of the approaches, for example, the FDR you have mentioned used, used um, assume um, independent covariates. Do you have some insight about which type of uh, direction could be used in the context of these correlated exposures with differential amount of exposure misclassification? So two issues we have for the exposome. Yes, the presentation of the FDR was um, simple because it was for a repeated um, univariate analysis. So there are several methods which can uh, be used to take into account uh, correlations between covariates. But maybe if the effect is enough strong, maybe it's not a problem. You think it's, it is? And uh, if the measurement error, the magnitude of the measurement error is, uh, is, is too large, maybe it's... So if we have information on the yes. Yes, yes, of course, you, uh, I, I think you, you, you do it. <laughs> I'm sure you do it, but... Uh, uh, if you have uh, m m models for, uh, that can accommodate for these multiple comparisons are, are not so straightforward adapted to uh, uh, the case where we have um, errors for multiple exposures. So, I mean, measurement error models like CMEX or regression calibration, they, they basically work perfectly if you have one exposure at a time, but is it easy to adapt them to the exposome? Oh yes, uh, or maybe to, to work on special study designs, uh, more than, uh, 
using a global um, measurement method with a uh, high level of uh, technical error. Mm. Okay, so thank, uh, you. thank you very much.